Okay, so, I'm a little late for my Halloween episode, but, um, actually we've been pretty busy. I, I was super busy on Halloween, and I was super sick yesterday, so, I couldn't, um, I couldn't get to it. But, happy Halloween. <laughs> um, so, Friday the 13th, I should do that, because that one's a classic, and perfect for... Halloween, I would say. I I watched it on Halloween when I got home. Um, it's you know I love all these movies. I think I've talked about this before about other movies on uh, my other videos, but I love movies like these. You know the classic, good old fashioned horror movies. The um, 80s, <laughs> the 80s movies. They're great, really. Um. I mean, you can't really go into um, expecting a masterpiece for from from anybody that's in it, though. It's not like they're like renowned superstar actors yet. This, I mean, the eighties is pretty much where they they came from. And that's where they got their start in their eighty movies. In fact, Kevin Bacon is in this, and um, most likely. It's his first film, and I can understand why he became such a great actor afterwards, because he's one of the few people in the movie that are actually acting like, you know, they're at camp, and they're talking to their friends, but not on camera or reading from a script. And, um, so yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where Kevin Bacon got his start. Oh, and of course, in Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, that's where John Depp got his start. Um, but, uh, anyways, you know. Friday the 13th, uh, there's the story of this Camp Crystal Lake, or Camp Blood, people know it by, because they say it's cursed. Because there was a boy that the counselors neglected and let drown, then the counselors got killed, and just all these accidents happened there. And the, um, there, there's all there's this group of uh, teenagers that are going there to be uh, counters and stuff and open the camp back up and um, they start getting killed because it's cursed. <laughs> but um, it's got a pretty I think it has a pretty good twist at the end. You know, it's an older movie and probably everybody knows about the twist, but. I still think it's a really cool twist. It's still, even if you know the twist, I think it's just one to watch and be like, oh yeah, that, I remember that, that's really cool. So, yeah. I'll give it a... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And, um, oh, it's November now. So, I don't have to do just horror movies anymore. I can do whatever you guys want. So just leave a suggestion for anything, any kind of movie, or music video, or TV show, and I will watch it, and I'll review it, and you get to watch me make, watch me make a fool of myself, like I just did there. <laughs> okay, well I hope you like this video, and again I'm sorry for being late, but um, I hope you all had a happy Halloween, I had a great one. Okay, well, um, see you later. Bye!